there is one option in the system okay the option is see here you are here right you are here click on it and then impersonate okay impersonation is the option that will be available for admins plus there is a special role called impersonator okay so if any user is part of this role or if he is part of admin they can impersonate this is the first statement second statement is what is impersonation so the one which i am telling so far is impersonation see i am selecting one user here once i select it the magic will happen okay so the instance the same instance once i impersonated it is loaded with a different account the account name is this account okay so this is how the user will see her instance and this is this is how the user will access this instance this is called impersonation okay so now see the user doesn't have uh, itl applications incident problem change and all okay first first point is this is the impersonation everyone clear yes sir right why we use the impersonation in real time is okay so i am going back okay so you have a requirement is it okay so you have a requirement so maybe some customer some story is assigned to you says create an application or create a module okay only available for uh, xyz role okay so this is what the requirement is there is a role okay and you uh, there is a role in the system and you need to create a new module under one application or a application just say application or module whatever it is okay you are creating a new application or you are creating a module under existing application like i want to create a module under this one collaboration okay so name i know like there is a concept like you go here create new module and all but you when you create a module okay you need to select the role as this role xyz role okay so this is what we do as part of development but how the developer will test it pick one person from this role okay and impersonate with him to see whether this module is appearing to him or not okay so let's say let's test something okay now, now verify okay incident application is coming for itil users or not this is our test case okay so negative test case i started with okay so see i am in admin i took one user who is a plain user who doesn't have itil role okay so now we are testing with her account okay going to her account or his account and verifying the incident application availability no so a plain user will not get incident application first negative test case now positive test case so add user to itl role i am not adding all uh, like okay so where i am i am in uh, this account okay this account doesn't have the option to add using users to role so i need to go back to admin when i impersonate even all the pages also will be changed to our account okay sheila account doesn't have this permission to adding users to roles or groups okay so i i am directly adding man this is not a good practice but i am just adding for our uh, convenient okay so i added itl role okay so itl role came now impersonate again okay to check a impersonate uh, a itl user can see incident application or not okay just see here yeah she can see incident application so positive this is positive and previous one is negative so for my question i seen both test cases so test is passed so how we are checking the availability of the application for an another account is our topic impersonation 
क्लियर मा